Number one, Squid Game. Ah, uh, who hasn't heard of the widely popular Squid Game? It was the first Korean series ever to top the Netflix chart worldwide. And we had to admit, this was pretty well deserved. Squid Game kept us in suspense with its creative twists on Korean childhood games, delivered quite the emotional stories, and made us bawl our eyes out for characters that deserve way, way better. Overall, it was a pretty amazing show to binge watch. But did you know that some of Squid Game's thrilling death matches had been accused of plagiarism? In particular, some viewers had noticed eerie similarities between this series and the Japanese drama slash manga As the Gods Will. To know where these similarities stand, let's first check out the two series' first death battles. In Squid Game, we started with 456 characters playing a game called Red Light Green Light, where they had to reach a finishing line without being caught moving by a gigantic doll. A wrong move at the wrong time means instant death, and while a gruesome sight, it keeps the audience hooked to the screen. Yet As the Gods Will, which was aired way back in 2014, had the same, if not exact, first game mechanisms. The only difference is that instead of a giant doll, there's a giant talking Japanese daruma. Instead of a finishing line, there's a pushing button, and people explode instead of being shot. Moreover, readers of As the Gods Will manga also pointed out another similarity. The second part of the series had competitors jumping on floating platforms up in the air, and characters will fall to death if they choose the wrong spaces to jump on. This game, they said, is probably the inspiration for Squid Game's glass bridge match. It's the same old thing, a bridge suspended high off the ground, so a wrong move means an instant game over. These plagiarism accusations were gaining so much buzz that Squid Game's director, Huang dong hyuk himself, had to step up to clarify. It is true that the first game is similar, but after that, there aren't any similarities, the director said. He added that he has worked on the script since 2009, and Red Light Green Light had been a fixed game ever since. Huang also pointed out that As the Gods Will was created in the 2010s, and while he didn't want to claim ownership of anything, the director concluded, if I had to say it, I'd say I did it first. Number 2. Legend of the Blue Sea If you are fond of the handsome actor Lee Min-ho and the gorgeous actress Jeon Ji-hyun, chances are you have probably watched Legend of the Blue Sea. The plot of the series is simple enough. There's a con man and a mermaid who has met him in another life. Hilarity ensues when the mermaid takes to land, and slowly but surely, the couple falls in love. With gorgeous cinematography and some added twists, Legend of the Blue Sea achieved quite the success, with ratings surpassing 20%. And yet, controversies broke out when the series was accused of downright stealing. Say, have you watched the American romance comedy Splash, aired way back in 1984? Probably not, but those who had discovered some similarities. They pointed out that while mermaid tales are pretty common, there are particular scenes that make Legend of the Blue Sea super suspicious. First, the main character of Splash had a past connection, where the male lead was rescued by the female lead a long time ago. Second, both mermaids were arrested and bailed out by the male leads when they were on shore, and both took to electronic devices to learn the human language. The iconic pasta scene in Legend of the Blue Sea was also said to be an exact replica of the lobster eating scene in Splash. As if those were not enough, other details like a scientist discovering the existence of mermaids and the female lead wearing an oversized white shirt were also put to comparison. But Splash was not the only movie that Legend of the Blue Sea allegedly stole from. In episode one of the series, we can spot the male lead analyzing details of other people, showing his acute observation skills. However, this particular ability was quite familiar to viewers of the British series Sherlock, and some fans even went as far as saying that the two scenes were similar frame to frame. It seems that actress John Ji Hyun isn't so lucky with choosing projects, because another famous work of hers was also involved in a copying scandal. Number 3. My Love from the Stars Aired in 2013, My Love from the Stars was a total bang skyrocketing the fame of actor Kim Soo Hyun and stabilizing Jung Ji Hyun's already high popularity. The series was hilarious, a trendsetter of the crazy woman trope, and kickstarted major fashion and beauty trends worldwide. Yet comic author Kang Kyung Ok had accused the series of stealing major plot points from her work, Sol Hoi. The 
comic in question focuses on a girl who suddenly becomes rich after receiving a large inheritance to the ire of her greedy relatives. According to this author, she found at least eight points of similarities between My Love from the Stars and Sohoi, including the use of a famous person, eternal youth, an alien, rebirth, and others. In particular, My Love from the Stars had details that took place 400 years ago, similar to Sohoi, the author claimed. She also added that the female lead of Solhoi became immortal due to an alien friend that helped her. And while the male lead of My Love from the Stars is an immortal alien, he was stuck on Earth because of, you guessed it, helping a girl. To conclude, the author went on to explain that, although the atmosphere, the male and female characters, and the order in which events took place are different, the core of the story is far too similar. She even went as far as to file a lawsuit, asking for 600 million Korean won in compensation. However, she later dropped the suit, quoting an out-of-court settlement. In response to the accusations, the production company of My Love from the Stars was enraged, releasing a public statement that completely refuted the author's points. We did not know of the comic Sol He, and it was certainly not something that we referenced for our production, it said, and threatened to sue the author for slander. However, this is not the only copying accusation directed at the famous series, as its opening sequence was also brought to the table with some netizens claiming that it plagiarized from a similar scene in the 2004 American series, New Amsterdam. While the case of My Love from the Stars never actually made it to court, the final series of today's list wasn't so lucky. Number 4. Iris New K-drama geeks may not recognize the series, but when Iris was broadcasted in 2009, the action series' popularity was practically unmatched. Iris circles around two best friends, who were recruited to join a secret South Korean agency known as the National Security Service. However, the two later found themselves in the middle of a conspiracy scheme that spanned internationally. As far as action series go, Iris had a brilliant plot, eye-satisfying action scenes, and wonderful acting. But its fame was soon followed by trouble. The same year the series aired, novelist Park cho ju had claimed that the drama copied from his work, The Sun Never Rises on Mount Fuji. He soon filed a lawsuit, quoted 162 striking similarities, including key character and plot points. An example cited is when Iris introduced a North Korean nuclear weapon developer seeking asylum in the South and attempting to nullify a similar weapon in Central Seoul. Other details included a confrontation between the male lead and a female North Korean spy, as well as the love line between the spy and the one that tended to her injuries. Amidst his accusations, author Park chol ju also added that he has suffered severe mental distress, financial losses, and had to give up the chance to produce the book as his own drama. However, eerily similar as these points may be, the court had ruled against the author, stating that the series and the novel were not similar enough to be considered plagiarism. The final sentence may be a huge sigh of relief for us fans, but the same can't be said for the novelist. So what do you think about these accusations? Are they mere coincidences, not even remotely similar, or are they super sus? Let us know your opinion in the comment section. And if you want more videos like this, like, share, and subscribe to Polydrama. We'll come back soon. See ya!